So I said I was going to do a rant because men piss me off basically. And I don't know how much of it is this patriarchal system that we live in um, where, I mean, I see it all over the media and it's starting at an even younger age now where we're almost being shown how we have or how we're supposed to be but what they're doing is killing the divine energy in us so instead of women being empowered by the divine feminine and being nurturing and loving and the healers of humanity we're kind of being turned into sex objects um kind of just there for men's entertainment almost now this really pisses me off especially like for strong women who know that a lot of these men that are in these powerful positions are not right for the roles. They're not doing any of, they're not making any choices from love and compassion, which is where these decisions need to be made from and how you need the divine feminine in there. We're making all of these left brain decisions in society and it's all totally masculine and patriarchal. And this is why they're, we've got so much suffering because they're not taking love and compassion into the decision making. So they're just making out like the female energy is weak, um, that it's pointless, that it's, it's, it's inferior to the masculine energy, and they are equal opposite. They can't exist without each other. Um, and the fact that I'm noticing in the way that kind of guys are, are growing and the way that, that women are treated and expected to act, um, and these stereotypes around the different sexes and I just think what what are people actually falling for with this stuff and um, this whole player mentality that guys can go out and and literally just abuse women and violate women and there will be no consequences that it's perfectly socially acceptable that's actually disgusting um, because the effect that that would have on a woman not on just her self-esteem but on how she views love <laughs> and then they take no responsibility for it and blame women that then get kind of messed up by these experiences they're then labelled and blamed for these things and I just think sort your fucking life out because you are the ones that are causing these things but then I think do we have to blame the parents like is it the mums not raising their kids properly the sons properly but then I think if they're following their dad I don't know, these guys are fucked up. There are some there are some fucked up guys out there. Seriously, you just think like, do you not have any respect for yourself? Like, do you not have any respect for, for your mum, for your sister? Like, how can you think it's acceptable for things like the Disney Channel and to have Hannah Montana as like this icon for young girls and she's all sweet and innocent and then as soon as she grows up a little bit and leaves Disney Channel, she starts whoring it out in the VMAs and just turning into a fucking prostitute, basically. And then you think, these young girls that have been following her and wanted to be her, they've got a, in their head now an idea of what happens when you hit puberty and all these hormones and changes start happening. This is what you've got to do. This is, this is And this is a total violation to their soul. And they won't even realise it necessarily because they'll think, it's acceptable this is what this is what you're supposed to do not realizing that they're actually violating their divine energy and wasting it and i just think this is detrimental for society to just abuse sexual energy which is divine energy creative sexual divine energy that is universal energy do you know what i mean it's not something that can that should be taken lightly it's one it's the most powerful energy in the universe love <laughs> do you know what I mean and it's just being downplayed like it's something for entertainment and it's sour stuff and it's just being abused so we're not being educated on what I mean we get taught about the act of it but we don't get taught about the emotional side of it so when people find out it's such a shock and you just think I wasn't prepared for this shit. <laughs> I blame Disney as well, though, in all fairness, for my unreali unrealistic expectations in men. It's their fault. They're brainwashing me into thinking this Prince Charming was going to come along. And I've only ever had twat and tinfoil. So, 
<laughs> fucking hate these, man. Not all of them. I know there are good ones. But most of them. Eyes, Matt. They just have no respect. But they don't realise that they have no respect. And so women kind of allow it because that's how they are and they've been allowed to get away with treating us like it for so long that they just either laugh it off or put up with it i just think fuck that you're not treating me like a knob mate like sort your fucking life out like that's strong women for you we need a rise of strong women because when men fuck us over we end up taking out on the girls anyway like it's our fault like we need to stick together, join up and just switch up on these men and demand they start treating us differently because it's unacceptable and the majority of them do it, so that's the thing and it's all sorts of things influencing them, music, TV, do you know I mean? but it's all conditioning them to just be twats basically, oh, it's so annoying but I'd like to thank Calvin Morris being the arrogant, self-centred, egotistical twat that I needed to be the inspiration for this creative blast of thought on the patriarchal system we live in. So I'm forever grateful, you stupid twat. <laughs> Peace.